Hi guys, I'm Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 14 children and 12 of those children are still at home. So we are feeding um, 14 people on a regular basis. I've done a couple other videos where I did a WIC haul um, and I did another WIC haul today because a lot of people have been blessed by that. Um, so if you look up, you can see exactly what like you would get for a certain ages. Um, so I have two pounds of cheese, two dozen eggs, 72 ounces of cereal, two cartons of peanut butter, oh, two containers of peanut butter, 64 ounces of whole grains, one quart of non-fat, low-fat yogurt, one quart of whole milk, three gallons of whole milk, three gallons of other milk, and four cartons of juice. So that is what I was going off of today. Oh, and $50 worth of fruits and vegetables. Um, so that's what I was going off of today. So I'm going to go through all my wig stuff and then I actually needed to buy some things um, on this side. So I'm going to go over the things that I bought. That was mainly not groceries though. And I'll show you that at the end. Actually, probably not at the end because I'm going to show you some different things that you can make with these meals. So I'll show you that and then I will um, make some things and show you how maybe you can use some of these products into meals. So we have three gallons of um, organic whole milk and we um, can you can throw any of these milks into the freezer so if you want to get wick at once then you could just grab all your milks at once and then throw them into a freezer if you have freezer space and then I got the one percent milk here I also had let's see 72 ounces of cereal so I got these two these both make excellent granola and then I got this. This is an odd ounce. You have to watch your ounces when you are doing WIC. So this has an odd ounce, but it is eligible. And they are gluten free. Um, so this I'm going to use to make a like a Chex Mix type thing with these. I have another, I think, rice Chex in my cabinet. Because we don't actually eat cereal. We don't really drink milk too much either. Um, the younger... Let's see, my two-year-old, she drinks milk, but everyone else pretty much has milk in like if I make yogurt or something like that. I think in this video, I'm gonna actually teach you how to make yogurt with store-bought milk. So, um, because of the difference in the um, size here, then I needed to find something that was smaller and these O's were only 12 ounces, which would have equaled up appropriately. Because if you do get WIC benefits, you wanna make sure you're using all of the products that you can. Um, I didn't see any quarts in what I needed today, so we didn't get quarts, but that's okay. Um, so apple juice, grape juice. So something that if you, our family really doesn't drink juice either. We drink water to save money, um, but you can use both apple juice and grape juice if you are canning um, without the use of sugar. Your jams and jellies, a lot of times you can use apple juice or grape juice. So those are great for that. You can also take and freeze your juice into containers and make um, popsicles for the kids instead of buying like those high sugar popsicles. These are just 100% juice. So we got two dozen eggs. I got a Greek yogurt and a whole milk yogurt. So I'll be using a whole milk yogurt to and one of these um, milks to make some yogurt. And then we're going to make some pops out of the yogurt that I make. So I got two, uh, four pounds of brown rice. Then we got two of these peanut butters. Four, it is hot here today. It is actually, um, I was just driving, we have the temperature in the car. It's 94, so anyone who thinks that Maine doesn't get hot, it can get very hot. It actually can get over 100. Um, today it's very hot and humid. So broccoli, I bought four of these bags. I am gonna do, I have a Sunday where I'm gonna do cream of broccoli soup. So that is going to be for that. I actually think it might be this Saturday because it's supposed to rain this Saturday and have a high of like, I think 55 or something like that. So it'd be a great day to do that. Um, and then we have blueberries, which are half melted and strawberries. So I wanted to make two things. 
One, I want to make these yogurt pops, which I'm going to share with you that have the strawberries and the blueberries in them. The, I'm going to do them now, but they're a great like 4th of July pop because it's red, blue, and white from the yogurt. And so we're going to do those for a snack as well as I want to make a batch of strawberry rhubarb jam because my um, rhubarb is ready. And then I got two Colby Jack cheeses and a thing of string cheese. I was going to look, I was trying to look for whole wheat um, tortillas because I haven't bought those yet to show you guys what you can do with those. So I'll just discuss it a little bit right here now. Um, if you have the whole wheat tortillas, you would use that instead of the brown rice. And you could always, um, you can get refried beans on your wick. So you could do like refried beans and cheese on the tortillas and just make wrap, wraps like that or any types of beans in there with some rice or anything would be really good um any veggies you could just throw them right in there those are yummy we can't do gluten so it didn't really matter anyway but um so bananas bananas are always a good deal um i don't know where, how much they are in your area but they're usually under a dollar a pound about three bananas is a pound so you're looking at like less than 30 cents basically i think these are 58 cents a pound so these are like 20 cents maybe a banana um and so that's a really cheap snack i got some strawberries these were on sale for a dollar 97 and my baby was with me and she loves um any berry at all i also got these bags these were on sale for a dollar 90 at Walmart, so all of the fruits and vegetables would be equal up to it was forty eight dollars and twenty six cents. So I got three bags of these. These were also on markdown, I think for two ninety seven. These were not. I got the two avocados and um, the tomatoes. So um, we have a lot of greens in our garden right now, so we can just pull those greens in and then top them with like avocado and tomatoes. And I think I have a couple onions left over and that makes a great snack. S snack? Lunch. <laughs> salad. Not a snack. Well, I would have a salad for snack, but yeah. So that would be from the wick um, portion of what we're doing. So my normal groceries, this is not my grocery week. I normally do um, shopping every other week. So last week was my in-between haul. So you notice like I got um, vegetables and all that type of stuff last week. So what I would do on my off weeks is I would be using what I had left over for fruits and vegetables. And then I also can fruits and vegetables throughout the throughout the year. So I have like canned peaches and canned pears and tons of canned applesauce because we can get apples for free. So we would do those on weeks that I haven't actually, if we run out, that's what we use. Um, so I just wanna show you, there were some things that I needed and some things that um, just happened to be good. So there's only a couple things here. We needed hoses. Um, so I got these 100 foot hoses. If you watched my garden video, you would have seen that I, have one, I had one hose that was just going berserk and like leaking all over the place. Um, so we had to move that one. Um, our pigs, if you saw that we moved our pigs way out back. Um, so we'll, we will run a two hoses. There's already a hundred foot hose. We should be able to get a lot closer if we bring two more hoses out there and then we'll be able to fill their area out back. So I got these were, I think 24, they were under 30. I think, no, 29.88, that's how much they were. 29.88, so I got two of these. Um, the connection difference on these hoses is different than the other ones. So the green hoses at Walmart are a little bit cheaper, but we bought them a couple times and the connection, if you're connecting to a spigot that has more than one like, you know, thing off the spigot, it leaks everywhere. You can connect two hoses together, but the connection to the spigot, it ends up leaking all over the place. So. Um, if you are doing that, then you might want to spend, I think it was like 24. They actually didn't have the 100 foots in that anyway, but um, these are cheap and work. So that was that. And then I got these two um, t-shirts. I'm going to be working on a craft project 
um, for the 4th of July with some of the kids and also I am making skirts right now. I'm trying to get a video together of like everything I'm sewing and I've been trying to do this for like two weeks but it just hasn't come together. I haven't had the time to sit down and pull all the pieces together. It's one of those videos that I've taken clips and pictures and that type of stuff and um, Clip Champ, which is who I am using and I'm comfortable with, um, has not been working very well for me and I'm so busy right now. It's just too much for me to try to take on learning a new program. So um, I got these five shirts each. So what I would end up doing is um, some kids would can still be in the same shirts. So my two year old weighs more than my five year old and my five and my seven year old are about the same size except they're a little taller. So all of those children can wear anywhere from a four to a six T um, and just mix and match and you really can't tell that they're wearing different shirts. Okay, so on the way, oh, and then I bought just a small thing of half and half to make it through um, until we need a more half, until the next week. Okay, so I stopped at Dollar General which is on our way to town, which I don't like Dollar General because they're usually a lot more pricey, um, but sometimes you can find things on clearance for a good deal. So I was actually looking for hoses to see what they had for hoses, and their hoses were um, kind of expensive or average. Um, but they did have this rack that was 50% um, off these diapers, so I asked her how much they were, and she said they were $15.75. And I was thinking that was like after the half off and she said no the half off was after that. So this was um, like $7.50. Yep, $7.50 for this box here. So these, I did not notice it until I already came back to town and I'm not driving 30 minutes to figure it out. These two were supposed to be buy one to get one 50% off. So I don't know how they worked this out, but these were each $7 each and they marked off $1.75 per one. Um, that's not 50% off. So, I probably won't end up, if, if I'm being honest, I probably won't make the effort to go back and do that, but I'm just glad I didn't get any more than those shirts. So when I got these, I was like, oh, it's a really good deal. They only had a size 40 and then they had a 14, 16. So I got those two there because they didn't have the other sizes. So this is a size six, seven, and then this is a 10, 12. So my little girls are, well, rejoices one, two, five, seven, nine, and 11. Those shirts would fit that age range right there and possibly my 14 year old and my 13 year old as well I think the did I get 14 yeah 14 yeah. 16 yeah 14 16 would actually fit those two children as well so within these packages right here I have enough to do the activity that I want to do for 4th of July which I will share later and um and to have extra t-shirts it's really kind of economical to do that this way other than buying Dollar Tree t-shirts which they don't always have those are $1.25 this is the best way to go and I do like white because if they get dirty then you can just bleach them and then I move my clean ones over to when they get dirty then those are like play clothes and that's kind of how I work it hi guys it's another day now and we just made those which I was talking about in the um, video in um, before when we went with shopping. So I got Wick and other stuff there. I was thinking about when I was kind of holding that video, we did that last Thursday. Today is Monday and I was going to hold it so I could make different things and different meals, but it's just not applicable right now for our house. We have been trying to plant everything outside. I have been doing a ton of sewing that needed to get done and it was just the wrong season to be doing sewing and that at the same time but you know nothing always like just falls into place so i've just been taking I've, i just haven't had the time to be able to make separate individual dishes 
But I thought what I would do is give you a huge lift list of just go-to things for the items that I got for Wick. And I hope that that blesses you because there is like tons of different ways that you can use um, different things. And I have shared quite a few different ways things on here. Um, I will link those other Wick videos below and those actually have like the products that I made on there. But I just want to encourage you with some other things that I am mentioning here, just kind of like a whole list on different things you, should, you can make. So with your extra milk, um, I like to do cream-based soups. So basically what you do is you would take an equal part of any fat, either butter, coconut oil, whatever fat you want to use, and any type of flour. It could be flour, um, corn flour, arrowroot powder, um, anything like that, that would be a thickener. So you melt your butter and then you add the equal part of the flour in there. And then you, whatever you did, you would quadruple that into either broth or milk. So say you um, did half a cup of butter and half a cup of flour, then you would be adding two cups of milk, or you could do one cup of broth and one cup of milk. That's just the basis on how to make a cream base. Now, if you wanted to add like onions or peppers or anything, you can do that while you're doing the butter and you would just saute that in before you do anything else. Okay, so that would make your cream base and you can make any soup with that like um, cream of broccoli soup, you can make um, any type of chowder that's the base to that. You can do, if you garden, you can do like cream of kale or cream of asparagus. If you have lots of different vegetables coming from your garden, just using those up in a cream soup is a great way to make them stretch if you don't have a, quite enough to use it as like a side or the main part of your meal. So that would be cream-based soups. Um, these are not in any order <laughs> at all. Um, I just wrote a bunch of things down. So pudding, we made that on another video. Um, chocolate pudding is a great way, a great dessert for the kids. Then you can make pudding pies and pudding pops. And, and everyone loves pudding, chocolate pudding. Um, that can use up a lot of milk. Yogurt is... You can make your yogurt with your milk, and I'm going to do that in a separate video because I don't think that that would be good to do as a um, video in something else in case somebody was searching it for a searchability. It'd be better if it was in a separate video. Um, but until I actually get that up, you can just research that. I do it in my Instapot. I used to do it in my dehydrated. Both work ways work well. Um, they do, it does come out a little bit runnier than normal yogurt, but it actually is perfect, especially if you're using it to make like pops or whatever. Um, also you can make scalloped potatoes. So basically you're making that cream sauce that I just mentioned and you could slice your potatoes really thin or into little cubes and you'd put them in a pan. You can add, if you wanna make this a whole meal, you could add things like ham or pepperoni or onions or broccoli or any type of meat or vegetable. It's a good way to, if you have a little bit of leftovers in your fridge, you can just chop it up real small, add it in all together and then you'd put that in there. And then you can also add cheese if you'd like to. You can add some cheese on top or you can add the cheese into the milk base once it's thickened up. So that is um, scalloped potatoes and then macaroni and cheese. Same thing, except you're talking about macaroni. You can use any type of macaroni noodles. You're making a cream base and then you're adding the cheese to the cream base. So if you had, say, two cups of milk, you probably would want a cup of cheese. You could do a little less or a little more, depending on what you have, um, and mix that in together. And then you're going to... Um, dump that over the noodles and then mix that into the noodles. And then if you want to bake it, you can bake it, but you don't have to bake it. Um, you could also in the macaroni, you could add things like ham, pepperoni, sausage, um, broccoli, cauliflower, any type of meat or vegetable, just like you can with the scalloped potatoes. You can add that into the macaroni and cheese and you've made yourself a casserole. Both of those are a great way to use up tidbits of leftovers, just recreated into a whole new meal. Okay, so let's move on to cereal. So obviously your milk you can use in with cereal if you were going to have just cereal and milk. We don't tend to do that too much because I don't feel it, it makes um, the best use of cereal. Um, cereal can be used for granola instead of granola on top of, say, yogurt. Um, you can also use, if you bought like Chex 
You could make like Chex Mix with that. If you bought Rice Krispies, you can make Rice Krispie treats. If you brought, bought Cheerios, you can make Cheerio bracelets. And that's always fun for the kids to eat. You know those candies that have like, it's the, it, I don't know, it's like a string and then it has little circles all on it and it makes a bracelet, like candy bracelets or whatever. You can do the similar type thing. You just take a pipe cleaner and you let the kids like feed the Cheerios onto it and then twist it and then they have a bracelet and they can eat the Cheerios off of it and it's safe for younger kids. Like you could have a, you know, one-year-old or whatever, make one too and they would have fun doing that. Um, so those are some fun snacks with the cereals. Um, we tend not to eat cereal because it is really high in sugar. So we, if we're using the cereal, then we're using that for a snack. So they're not getting that huge sugar boost, um, the beginning of the day, cause that can really cause like problems with your blood sugar and such. So we try not to eat cereal in the morning times. If your children are having problems with like the mid, the crashing of their blood sugars, um, try to change their morning thing into something that's really high in protein. Okay. So yogurt, you can have parfaits. Um, you can buy with like the fruits and vegetables. You can buy different types of frozen berries and make parfaits with the yogurt. You can make yogurt pops. I have a video coming up that's going to be making um, 4th of July um, pops. Um, you can actually take a banana and you cut them in half. So you have the whole banana, then you cut the banana in half and then you freeze them like that. And then you, once they're frozen, oh no, sorry, rewind, take the banana, cut it in half, stick a popsicle stick in the fat end, and then throw those in the freezer. And then you can pull those out and then you can dip them in the yogurt. You can also dip them in peanut butter if you wanted to. Um, and those are great. And then you put them back in the freezer and then those would make little pop sickles, but they're actually like a banana dipped in yogurt. Um, you can throw like sprinkles or something on there or nuts on there. Um, those are a fun snack for the kids as well. And then you just refreeze that. So let's see, peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, peanut butter wraps, peanut butter and banana, peanut butter, banana, yogurt, peanut butter and apple, peanut butter cookies. I don't think that too many people are going to need something how to eat peanut butter because I always find that that goes so fast. Okay. Rice. If you're choosing rice for wick, then you can make fried rice. That's another way that you can use your leftovers. You can take whatever vegetable and whatever meat, you take some onions and you fry that up in a pan, um, in some oil, add a little bit of soy sauce and some leftover rice and you can make fried rice out of that. Um, rice and beans, a really simple rice and beans recipe that we make is to put um, rice in one Instapot. So I would use brown rice in Instapot and say you have one cup, then I would do two and a half cups of water. So one cup of rice and then double plus a little of water or broth, we usually use broth um, just for the nutritional value, but water is fine. And then you're going to put that on your, in your Instapot for seven minutes and that's going to cook. And then the beans, if you were using dry beans, you would just fill that again with broth or water about an inch above your beans. And you would turn that on for 55 minutes. And then when that came off, um, all I do is I drain that out and then I add salsa in there and mix that up. Maybe a little bit of tomato paste or dehydrated tomato powder, which I make, um, from tomatoes that I grow. And so you can choose to use those things and mix that up and serve that over the rice. And, oh, that's good. Everyone loves it. Um, it sounds really simple and whatever, but everyone loves that. Okay. Then we have, uh, any rice with a protein and a veggie. This is another good use up recipe, just like we were doing with the scalloped potatoes and the macaroni and cheese, protein, veggie, and rice and your cream sauce over it, mix it all in and top it with cheese, throw it in the oven. And there you go. There's casserole for you. Um, great ways. You want to make sure that you're using all those leftovers up. Cause even if it's a little tidbit. Okay. My screen went black. So if I stop talking, it's cause my screen went black. Um, so just, even if it's just a little tidbit, you want that. 
Okay, we're going to try it again. So um, next is eggs. So you can have hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, um, poached eggs, egg salad, deviled eggs, and use eggs for baking. Um, juice, juice, you can, if you're just going to have your kids drink juice, we usually don't drink juice too much. Um, we mix that 50, 50 with water, or I may mix like a cranberry juice with an apple juice. Um, it will just go further. Um, you can use a apple juice and grape juice in your canning. Um, look for no sugar canning recipes for your jellies, and it will come up with, um, using apple and grape juice. So you can also use your juices as soup bases, like tomato soup and V8, and those types of things can be used as a soup base or a minestrone or a beef soup or something like that. Um, and then if it's summertime, just throw them into the freezer um, in some popsicle things, and you can have popsicles. So there are a, great, a bunch of great ideas that we um, use on a regular basis that will help you save money, time, and energy, hopefully. Um, also, if you shop for your wick once a month and you um, have extra things, you can freeze your milk. Another thing is, is like you can make ahead a bunch of casseroles and you could put those in the freezers so you have meals and stuff ahead. I love to do freezer meals. I'm going to be doing some more on the way coming up soon. So I hope you can join us with that. So that is about it for today. If you have any favorite WIC recipes, please put them in the comments down below so that other people who are reading this can um, see what else they can make. So thanks so much. Thanks for joining me. And if you like this video, please.